Hello there! How are you doing? Welcome back to another Deligracy Let's Play. We haven't had a Let's Play on this channel for a hot minute. It's been a while. And if you've never seen this channel before, welcome. I'm Deli. I play Sims a lot and I'm from Australia and I hope you enjoy my Sims gameplay. And just so you know, our tradition is we get a cup of tea before we play Sims. So if you want to get a drink or something, pause the video, get comfy, get snug, and let's play some Sims. So basically, we're going to be playing uh, Sims in the world of San Mai Shuno, which is the city world in The Sims 4. There's no new packs, so we're just kind of creating our own fun storyline. And I've created two households to live in this building, one group of three girls and this group of three guys who are living in different share houses. So a little bit like Friends, but it's not based on the Friends TV show. So anyway, I'm going to quickly introduce you to the guys and maybe in the next part, I'll introduce you to the girls or later in this episode. But basically, first up, we have Alistair Bat, and Alistair here is our computer whiz. He is a genius, he's ambitious, and he's a geek, and he's going to be uh, earning a lot of money actually he's already like level seven in the tech career so he's he's doing really well and he's going to turn into a rich a rich young man uh and then we have mason here and mason is like he's quite different he's a lot more chill a lot more relaxed he's a bit of a goofball he's creative and he's in the music industry so he's hoping to make it big with his guitar playing and music writing. And then we have Atticus Polovsky, and Atticus is really cute. Uh, he dreams of finding his dream man. He's a loner, he's a bit gloomy, but despite that, he's a good Sim, and he is a teacher. He's a bit nerdy, but hopefully we can find him the love of his life to make him really, really happy, and maybe give him a little bit more confidence as well. So welcome to their building. Oh. That's not a very good view, is it? <laughs> so I've just called it the friends file save, but I don't know even what I'm gonna call this series yet. I've done a poll to ask you guys. But this is where they live. They live in the Spice District. It's a dreary rainy day, which it actually is here in Melbourne today, despite it being summer. But they live in this apartment right here. And some of you guys have already seen the apartment. And I'm also playing on the Lil Simsy. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Is this a disgruntled neighbor, Candace Scott? Hey neighbor, can you kindly keep the noise down? I can hear you through the drywall. Please be considerate. Oh, and this is one of the girls. This is Violet. Is she yelling at Violet or at us? Cause we don't even have anything in this apartment happening right now. Oh no, Atticus has had a breakout. That's so unfortunate. So yeah, as I was saying, I am playing in the little Simsy save, which means that all the townies and houses are a little bit different. Uh, she's another YouTuber who's worked really hard on this save. But anyway, this is their house. Some of you guys have already seen this build. I did it uh, maybe a week ago. It's actually a pretty big apartment, so it's very 90s sitcom inspired because all of those apartments are just like massive and you're like, this makes no sense that anyone could afford this. But anyway, Atticus has been baking today. He's been working from home. So he's already done a little bit of teaching marking. He's made these little like rice bubble sweet things and lemonade because it is actually Pride Day today. So I've got the Pride flag up there as requested by a few of you guys. And Atticus uh, probably comes from a very conservative family, but um, I think he's, he's openly gay definitely openly gay and uh, he, he's proud of it. And he he's really wanting to get more involved in the gay social scene as well. So that'll be exciting to get into. Uh, this room is Alistair's room, the mega nerd guy. He gets the biggest room uh, and he also wants to be away from the other guys who are over here. We have in here <laughs> Atticus's room. He has a nice single bed. It's all very neat, very nice. He's got his own little hat stand and pride flag also in here. We have Mason's room down the hallway and his room's like super planty, a little bit more hippie. I think it's pretty cute. And obviously the apartment's got the older school wallpaper, pink bathrooms, all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's let's enjoy some pride. I think he just got paid a little bit. This girl's so mean to us, I can't believe that. Oh, Mason just bought 184 simoleons for him. Where is Mason? Oh, he's feeling embarrassed by this chick? Why are you embarrassed? Oh, he's got a mild breakout too? What is with this? Oh, let's say hi to Violet. Let's throw some pride confetti. Uh, so Violet is a neighbor and the guys have already met the girls because they've moved in maybe a few weeks ago. 
I reckon the guys were here first, and then the girls have moved in. Uh, and Violet's like kind of, she's got a Vietnamese background. She's really perfect, really pretty, but she's also kind of got to learn to stand on her own two feet a little bit because she can be a bit lazy and rely on her looks a few, a little bit. Um, ooh, what's this? It gives me energy. Spending time with others gives this sim energy. I actually have another mod installed, the Slice of Life mod, which will give us some extra moodlets and stuff like that. Uh, woohoo! So maybe they should all go out to Pride is... Oh, there's also a festival on. What else does he need to do? We've done some baking. Uh, Atticus already has some lemonade out. Oh, gifts to other Sims. I don't think we have... We have earbuds to give to give other sims. Oh, look at that. They already have like having cosmopolitans. This is nice. I don't know who this sim is. Camilla Rosal. Oh, she's left a, left a note. Okay, so what is Atticus doing? Maybe Atticus should come over and do a friendly introduction. And it looks like Alistair's back from work. He's uh, feeling a little uncomfortable because he thinks the surroundings are a little unpleasant. And how much money did he make? Did he make a little bit of... A little bit of something, 504 simulans. So not really earning the big bucks yet, but he is level four. But we're gonna we're gonna level that up pretty quickly. So he's gonna do a lot of programming. Mmm, get that lemonade. I feel like he is so like work focused, he wouldn't even care that much about going out and doing stuff really. But Atticus would be like, oh, it's so great to meet you. Violet, I'd love to come over sometime and 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 see you guys. Let's share some pride spirit. And they're like, do you wanna do you wanna Sims Mapolitan? And he would be like, oh no no no, I don't drink. I've got my own lemonade back at home. <laughs> Woo! Let's go party! <laughs> oh wow, it's storming. I want to read what festival is on. Did I already read that and miss it? It doesn't say like. I guess there's no festival on. There was the Geek Festival earlier, but I don't even think they're really in the mood to go out. So maybe they could invite the girls over instead. Because clearly they're all having drinks, but they're not really doing much. I feel like Alistair would probably find uh, Violet very pretty, but think that she would want nothing to do with him romantically. And he can be pretty arrogant and grumpy as well, which you can kind of see now. But I think she would be really interested in Alistair because she's probably heard uh, that he's kind of the next big thing in the tech world. And I think she would find any kind of money kind of attractive and any ty type of intelligence attractive as well. Why don't you guys come over to our place, you know? Come chill out with us tonight. I'm gonna get Violet to invite the guys over for a little party. So we're gonna do a house party and we're gonna make maybe Violet the host and she's gonna invite over her new neighbors, Alistair, Mason, and Atticus, and obviously her housemates, Kitty and Abigail, who I will introduce to you guys really soon, are gonna be there as well. And I don't think we need catering or anything. It'll also mean that the girls dress up really nicely too if there's a house party. So maybe they were planning to go to go out anyway on the town, but they've decided, oh, the weather's too bad. But this is the girls' apartment. Um, it's a little cheaper and smaller, but they do have a really nice balcony outside. And oh my gosh, what is he doing? Is he actually gonna go play chess? Alistair, are you serious? Okay, he is, he's a real social bunny, isn't he? Oh, and Violet's put on her nice little outfit as well. I'll just introduce you to the girls. Oh, Atticus is like, wow, girls, you have such a great place here. I love the view. Alistair! Oh, chess. Sick. So obviously to introduce the girls, we've met Violet, and she is, uh, like I said, very pretty. She's a waitress, so she's kind of, whoa, that, whoa, she's magical. No, no, this isn't a supernatural LP, sorry. She, uh, she's a little bit Miss Perfect Princess. She wants to pursue creative endeavors, but she's a little bit lazy. And currently she's a waitress, but she misses a lot of shifts. So she's kind of got to learn either to stand up on her own two feet to get to where she wants to in life. She wants to be quite wealthy and successful, or she's gonna go down the road of just kind of getting it a little bit more easily through being with a guy who achieves that for her. So that's Violet. And then we have Abigail over here, who a lot of you guys said Abigail reminded you of yourselves. Uh, she, we're actually in her bedroom, she's really sweet. She is more of a loner, she's not that social, but she's a really happy, good sim. 
And currently she is working as a support technician. So she's an engineer and she's gonna be borrowing the guy's robot station a lot. So that's cute. And then we have Kitty and Kitty is, uh, oh, Violet. I feel like she is so showing off to the guys. <laughs> Kitty is just like a little bit based on Samantha Jones from Sex in the City. She loves being social. She loves going out on the town. She has commitment issues though, uh, because she's just, wanting to be an independent woman. She don't need no man. She doesn't want to rely on anyone. And she's actually a lawyer. She's very, very smart and works really hard. So she kind of lets loose by going out a lot, being with different Sims, having experiences with them, but she doesn't really want to stick around or have a boyfriend. And I actually think she's going to absolutely adore Atticus because Atticus is like, gonna love the fact she's so fabulous and confident the opposite to him and she just thinks he's the sweetest thing ever so i'm gonna get her to go over and socialize and have a bit of a gossip uh and just enjoy that maybe she can chat about a scandalous lawsuit that she's been working on uh, and she's a paralegal i feel like mason would really like abigail and love just how comfortable she is in her own skin without feeling the need to speak up and show off lots and i think he would like that she's kind of got her chilled out more indie style uh oh he's blushing whoa that uh oh no he looks like he's sick maybe Oh, maybe Abigail can uh, ask about Day and ask if he's all right. Um, oh gosh, he's, oh my gosh, he does not look well at all. Do they have a teapot or something? Maybe she can brew him um, some nice tea, some ginger tea. She's probably more of a nurturer too. So she's probably like, oh my gosh, I wanna help this guy. And then Violet has probably heard about this uh, genius. So maybe we'll, Oh, she gets her period as well, nice. Maybe she can uh, change back into her outfit. Where was that little party outfit she had on? And she's gonna maybe go and chat to him. Oh my gosh, he's like trying trying out the wellness mat as well. Maybe she should be like, hey, thanks for coming. What are you doing out here? He's like, I'm, I'm trying some wellness. I've been really stressed at work. <laughs> she's like, hello, you're not doing that right. Oh my gosh. Ask about Alistair's income. Oh, she probably would. She'd be like, oh my gosh, so I heard you're like a big shot coder or something. What kind of money do you guys earn these days? <laughs> Honestly, I'm really wealthy. Yeah, he probably has no idea how to talk to girls. And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> She's like, nice. Do you like use Discman's? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I haven't used a Discman since I was like 10. Discman's are actually awesome though. Maybe she could be a little bit, um, a little bit like, sir, are you single? <laughs> he would, I feel like he would be so awkward. Atticus is like, hi guys. <laughs> oh, Violet's learned that he is single. Why is he looking like so grumpy? Telling him, tell him an engaging story. I kind of want her to compliment his appearance a little bit as well. Oh, and did Abigail, did Abigail give the, the tea? I don't think she did. I wanna see how Violet goes so flirting. And she's probably like, Kitty, stop talking to him, he's mine. <laughs> oh, oh, that romance just went up, that's perfect. Yay, she can flirt a little bit more. Okay, where's this tea? Oh no, did Mason leave? Did Mason leave? Honestly, where did Mason go? Oh, there he is. Let's grab a drink and see if we can just like put it in front of him. I don't know if he'll take it. Oh, she's so sweet. This is definitely something that Abigail would do and, and want to help with. Uh, thanks girls, that's really sweet. I'm just not feeling like myself today. It must be this this crazy weather. Oh, and this is a, this is a goldfish Martin, which he's, he's pretty cool. But I think he would feel so well looked after with Abigail. He's like, wow, she's such a sweet girl. Why do I have this stupid acne on my face? <laughs> I guess we can share his wisdom with Violet and uh, give a little heartfelt compliment. Discuss about his stressed mood. I feel like he would always be stressed about all of his coding and doing all of his work stuff and the kind of pressure he's under. Uh, but I think he's really, he's really loving meeting Violet right now. Can discuss some interest. He's just like looking at her like a creep. Gossip about video game pros and be like, yeah, 
yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at video games too. I once uh, did a did an esports tournament. I, I was in an esports team. She'd be like, "Really? That's um, that's really interesting. That's great." <laughs> she she knows how to play flirt either. Maybe he can do an awkward flirt. I don't think he really knows how to flirt, but he can he can give it a shot. Also, it's 3.30 a.m., so I feel like they should go home, but at least they've gotten to get to know the girls a little bit more and the girls have invited them over a bit. Wow, Mason's actually really taken by Abigail. Like, he, are they, they're already friends. Oh, oh, and he's feeling flirty from the hot tea. Oh my gosh, his, Abigail's tea made him flirty. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, maybe he can offer her a rose. I feel like that's the kind of thing that Mason would do. Alistair wouldn't be caught dead giving anyone a rose. Oh, thank you, Mason. That's so sweet. <laughs> wow, I, I really like cats. <laughs> so yeah, I think he's, he's definitely like, oh, you're so gorgeous. <gasps> Risky hookup in bed. I mean, I don't think they... I don't think Abigail would go for that. That's definitely more of a cutie style. She'd be like, yes, let's be wild and party and let loose and not worry about stuff. She's like, oh my God. Oh, they all have acne. <laughs> She's like, wow, Abigail, he's cute. You should go there. Oh my gosh, look at these two. They're gonna be BFFs for sure. Oh, and then Kitty could give Atticus a little makeover and they can go out and help help find each other a hookup or whatever. This is really frustrating that they all have acne though. Oh, he he was drunk? Oh my gosh, he, he had too much to drink? I didn't realize that. Also, can we like put some, some oh, that's a cheat. Can we do some treatments to get rid of the acne? Oh no! <laughs> the girls have probably given Mason a, a face mask. They're like, have this. <laughs> anyway, we should we should get these guys home because it's way too late and they all have work in like five hours. Uh-oh. In four hours. Atticus will be like, oh my gosh, it's past my bedtime. He should also have a quick uh, a quick face mask as well from the girls. Okay, Atticus is gonna go straight to bed. He is also wearing a face mask that Kitty gave him. So <laughs> they've all got face masks, masks from the girl's place and thankfully they are not too tired. Alistair, I feel like it would be staying up coding or programming. What does he have to do for work? He just has to keep programming. Okay, so we can go to program. Uh, do we just practice programming? Did we just practice programming? I'm not really sure. I actually think I tried to make an app and it didn't register as him doing any programming at all. So I think we better do that. But I feel like he wouldn't get a lot of sleep very often. If anything, he should have acne from not eating well and being in front of the computer all the time. Oh yay, Atticus made 176 simoleons from being at home. Uh, work for Atticus starts in an hour. I think we'll just go to work today. Oh my gosh, he probably he probably wants to get up, get ready for the day, feel really good about everything. I feel like he would have a nice little routine. He can brush his teeth as well. So he needs to be feeling fresh and good. Good boy. There we go, Atticus. Oh, I still got that that um acne. He should start thinking about further education. I don't think we'll do uni, uni for any of these guys. I mean, maybe if they want a career change, they could. Uh, and he should have, oh, what should you have? He can have some of his sweets quickly. Okay, and Mason, Mason actually has the ensuite, which is pretty handy, so he can just use that. Oh, and he hasn't written jokes or practiced any music. Uh, I mean, we can just tell some jokes. And then Alistair, Alistair hasn't had any sleep actually, and he's still doing really, really well. He should have, they should have like coffee in his room, or he should have coffee in his room or something. But he's just programming, is he? Oh, he's finished his programming, excellent. What does he actually wanna to do to be a computer whiz? Oh, just keep practicing programming and play video games? Yeah, it's not that hard, is it? Well, we'll get him to go to the toilet at least so he can kind of get further up in his career. Cause I do want him to level up quite quickly. And I really want him to continue making the mobile apps cause that means he'll get a little bit higher up in his fame. Oh, Atticus, why don't you have your glasses on for your school wear? I guess he puts his contacts in and tries to look like a cool guy. 
Oh, I wanted him to wear like a suit to work or something really, like really over the top. I just realized that practicing telling jokes isn't writing jokes, so that didn't go up at all. So rats, that's annoying. Okay, so he's off to work and then it's just Alistair who has finished his programming. So he is ready to go off to work as well. Beautiful. Okay, so all the guys are at work. Who's this? Camilla, okay. Well, maybe we should just quickly check on the girl's household. Okay, so basically what's happening at the girl's house is that Abigail and Kitty are at work. Hey, I heard you became friends with Alistair. He's pretty cool. Oh, Mason trying to put in a good word for his friend. That's really sweet. Uh, but Violet, I mean, she's got work in 17 hours. She's just kind of napping on the couch. I mean, does she, she doesn't even need to nap. Wow, she's like fully happy. And I swear I did not even cheat that. Uh, so I don't know, maybe she should like try and start painting or something, like get some creativity skill up. Uh, maybe she can just start doing a classic painting. I'm not sure if she has any skills. Oh, she's got a bit of skill in photography and guitar, so that's all right. Uh, so maybe she'll just have a go at painting and maybe try and sell things with Alistair one day. But yeah, I definitely feel like Violet doesn't have a lot to do during the day and she's kind of, I mean, she's painting, so she's not like super lazy, but some days she's just kind of wandering around the house in her PJs or looking at herself in the mirror, trying to see if she grows new paws each day. Um, so it's good for her to have found a new hobby. And if we get the, the arts and crafts stuff pack soon, the knitting pack, uh, she might be able to do some of that as well, which would be good. Yay, that's actually, I mean, it's poor quality, but it's not that bad, you guys. That's a pretty good first piece. <laughs> I reckon I reckon we do some more paintings and gradually she might be able to sell some of them. You know, she probably could do a little bit of the washing if anything needs to be done. Maybe she could do a bit of laundry. I've also been told that I should get the banking mods to keep all of their funds separate. So I might do that uh, before the next part. Oh, look at this painting. It's a violet by violet. That's so sweet. And she's gonna go ahead and do some washing. So that, wow, now that is, she's, she's carrying the washing with her booty. Oh no, it's stuck to her hand, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, now that's impressive. Uh, let's hang the laundry on the clothesline. Oh no, what's this? Teacher's pad folio of student homework. Oh, it looks like Atticus uh, has left this here. Violet does not own this item, but we wanna we wanna give it back to Atticus. Ooh, and Abigail made some good money today, so that's good. And Kitty brought home some good money today as well. Kitty's definitely the the higher income earner. Oh, that's so cute! I love that there's a clothesline on the on the balcony. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Don't you think that's adorable? Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. Let me know what you'd like to happen in the next part or if you have any ideas of what we should do next. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to play more Sims with you all soon. Dag, dag.